Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and welcome to another voice actor spotlight. In some of my videos, I often joke that some of the actors of research are internet ghosts, because like a ghost, they don't leave much of a trail. Well, let me tell you that Alec Willows is by far the best internet ghost I found. I can't even tell you on what day he was born in 1952. The internet doesn't know. I've listened to panels and interviews and nothing about his past is known. James Bond leaves a bigger trail. But I decided to do a spotlight anyway because his contribution to the world of voice acting needs to be acknowledged. So here goes. Born in 1952, he's a stage actor first, then did TV and movies in Toronto, was told that because of his raspy voice caused by too much smoking and drinking he should be doing voiceovers, did a commercial for Wendy's. Surprise the drink please. Order from some value menus and you also get a surprise, not Wendy's. Our Biggie fries are big. You can't get bigger for 99 cents. And to finish a Biggie drink, you'll probably have to take it with you. Wendy's Super Value Menu. Better food makes it a better value. Then moved to Vancouver and got his first cartoon voice acting gig doing Falcon Art in Conan the Adventurer. And there you go, that's what I found about his journey into becoming a voice actor. Since I can find much more on him, let's take a look at his more famous roles. Unfortunately, the only stage acting information I've found is that he's the recipient of the 2014 Jesse Award for Outstanding Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role Small Theatre, for his role as Candy in the hardline production of the classic of Mice and Men. For live action, his first TV role was Dr. Robinson on Huckleberry Finn and his friends. He's been on a show called Airwaves for 26 episodes, and that's him right here. Alec did a few guest starring roles on popular shows such as Alfred Hitchcock Presents, The Twilight Zone, Highlander The Series, Millennium, Police Academy The Series, The Outer Limits, and my favorite show Supernatural in the episode Everybody Loves a Clown, where he was the actual monster of the week, Barry Papazian. God, I'm, I'm you sorry, think I, I wouldn't give my eye teeth to see Mr. Cooper or a sunset or anything at all? But what he's most remembered for is his voice acting which is amazing. Let me show you some of his iconic roles. After Conan the Adventurer, he got to voice Oolong in both Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z while the Oceans group had the contract. Hi, this is the bona fide 100% original me. Believe it or not, a good looking guy like myself has trouble scoring chicks. And he was the voice of Tabaki on the movie Adventures of Mowgli. But what made him famous was his roles as Tarantulas in Transformers Beast Wars. That has to be the creepiest, scheming, devious character ever created for this franchise. And I don't think anyone could have done it better. But I find a slower pace makes the vital fluids taste so much better. <laughs> Alec considers himself a specialist of small and unusual characters. I live! And I can't argue, Tarantulas was always interesting and Alec mentions often that it was his favorite character. And he jokes that nobody seemed to care when Tarantulas died but people were nursing Scott McNeil when Dinobot did. Post Beast Wars, you heard him as General Amadi and Big Al on Extreme Dinosaurs and Commander Feldspar on Shadow Raiders. Alec does a lot of dubbing too. He's the voice of Mushin on Inuyasha and the TV movie The Castle Beyond the Looking Glass. Worked on shows like Human Crossing as The Gentleman. Starship Operators as Hans George Herman, and in The Black Lagoon and its sequel The Second Barrage as Bayo. He's also Visa on World Trigger and Atmospheric in Asterix The Secret of the Magic Potion. And recently he's been heard on BB and Tina as Grandpa Butler and Brass on Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai. Overall I think Alec is one of the more talented and versatile actors in Canada. What I showed is but a glimpse of his body of work. He's also been in lots of shorts and TV movies and a few video games like Scarface, The World Is Yours. I had a lot of fun watching his conventions panel, he's funny, he's interesting, and has a lot of good advice on how to take care of your voice. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of Alec Willow's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!